Here is a quick tour of version 2 of the DATV Express development board. This is where the power comes in. It can be between about 10 volts and 15 volts. Here are the power supplies. These provide the 5.5 volts, the 5 volts, 3.3 volts and 1.2 volt supplies for the various chips on the board. This is the 24 megahertz crystal oscillator for the USB controller. This is the USB socket that connects to the PC. Here is the Altera FPGA. It is the same device as we used on the previous board. Here's the analog device's D to A converter. It's a dual channel 125 mega sample per second device. This is the low pass filter that acts as an anti alias filter or Nyquist filter. This is the analog device's synthesizer and IQ modulator. It has a tested frequency range of 72.5 MHz to 2.48 GHz. Here is a mimic IC to amplify the output of the uh, IQ modulator. And here is the SMA connector. Also on this board there is a flash memory device. This stores the um, vendor ID and the product ID. Currently we're not using that. It can also be used to boot from. Also we've added to the board an, a two channel A to D converter. That can be used for calibration and also connected to an external sensor it can be used for forward and reverse power measurement. One of the potential uses of this would be pre-distortion of the transmitter to compensate for the amplifier, the final amplifier response. Also you'll see a 20 megahertz crystal oscillator which is used to uh, provide the reference for the synthesizer. Also we've added to the board some connectors which connect directly to spare I.O. lines on the FPGA. We've um, grouped them as differential pairs so that you can have very high speed data going across this interface. So that could be connected to an external device and doing away with the USB interface. Also it would be possible to connect a high speed A to D converter and um, digitize an analog signal, process it inside the FPGA and produce for example vestigial sideband uh, output for, t for standard analog television. We have no plans to uh, implement that but it's possible. Also it would be possible to interface this with a SDR radio for transmit. The signal would come across at 192 kilosamples per second or 96 kilosamples per second. It would be interpolated upwards uh, to the final um, sample rate of say 32 megasamples per second. There's enough space inside the FPGA to do that so the board could be um, used as a, a UHF transmitter board. Well I think that just about um, covers everything. This wire link is not a mistake it's just simply the hardware transmitter disable. It um, has to be in there or the thing won't transmit. As again as I said this is the version 2 of the DATV Express board. So far I have found absolutely no hardware faults on it whatsoever. There was a slight problem with the silk screen around these diodes but that hasn't affected the uh, operation of the board. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, I hope you'll buy one of these when, uh, when they're available.